What's going on, my swillies? All right, so welcome back for another episode here, guys. But today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Today, we're going to talk about the Xbox, the Game Pass, and if it's worth it for you guys or not. So hope you guys go ahead and sit back, relax, and get some informative information. But don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Right. Let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys want to add me on Xbox, I just bought an Xbox uh, Series S, but I'll go ahead and get into the value of that, why I did that one and not the Series X in just a little bit on this video. But if you guys want to add me, this is my name. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, so you got some different benefits here, guys. Of course, you can play for the comfort of your phone. And of course, everybody has a phone nowadays, if you guys are lucky. Phones, tablets, PCs, or consoles. These are the different options you guys have to purchase or actually play your video games. All right. And I'm not going to do a comparison to the, the PlayStation version because I think this one is probably a little bit better. I think um, I played the PlayStation, but we're not going to say we're not going to do a, a comparison on this video. That's another video in the future. All right. So you get with this, you can you play your game pass and you also have EA play all included guys. You catch up on your top series. You got Battlefield, Star Wars, Need for Speed, and much, 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 much more, guys. It's amazing how much you can play on this Game Pass. All right, so you can link your Riot account and get in-game benefits with Game Pass as well. Play on your PC, play on your mobile. And of course, you can get some, play some games, get some rewards. I've only played the game, let's say, the first five minutes, I was already getting achievements unlocked. All right, so let me see, you're all set. Time to get cracking. All right, so you can look at all the games. You got a whole bunch of crowd favorites here. You got Among Us, which I might need to start playing again. You got Persona. Battle to oh my God, see look at this. This is old school Battletoads, guys. Old school Battletoads. One thing I need to do is in, I can play it on my phone or I can hook up a an Xbox controller or some kind of controller of some sort and then I can play these games. Wow. This is what pretty much sold me off the bat tunic now you got three different ways you can play here guys you got cloud you got console and you got pc so if you guys want to play on pc you don't even have to have an xbox to be honest with you guys you can have this without the xbox and you have different price plans and we'll get into that a little bit later in the video as well but what sold me the most on this was there's a couple games Notably, the, the game that really sold me was playing like Halo because I have not played all the Halo since the first, maybe the first two. And after that, I just, I got, I gave away, I stopped going with the Xbox 360. I went along with this PlayStation because all my friends are on PlayStation. I don't have any friends on Xbox. Like I said, you guys see my, my little, my avatar and everything like that at the beginning of the screen. Go ahead and add me up so we can play together. And then also the Gears of War series, that one right there as well. All right, but the main game I want to play is Starfield. All right, I did a live stream on that game. Amazing. And also the Forza series. Oh my God, they got a new Forza coming out. Amazing. I'm not worried about games like Grand Theft Auto. I got that on PlayStation. I've already got, I don't think you can use your same uh, your same save that you have, um, but yeah. Flight Simulator, that's another one that made me say, you know what, let's go, 100%. But all these games I can play on my phone, guys. It's, it's, seriously just play and hook up a controller and that's it all right so you can search you got the indies you got the family friendly you got the classics the shooters the sports action adventure platforms fighter and brawlers so let me look at the classics real fast look at these banjo kazooie man i remember these when i was a teenager man these games were out back then well maybe not that long ago but damn near close all these Halo games I never even heard of. There's a lot of games I never heard of. But a lot of these games I can play on the PlayStation as well. Same, same, same. Battletoads again. And it has a lot of 360 games also. And also, you, what you could do, if you have, I guess you have to have your Xbox on, you could have it set to download games while you're away. So when you come home, wham, bam, it's ready for you. Because it does take a little time to download, depending on your internet speed, things like that as well. 
You got all the console games. It's just a lot of games, guys. It's not as much as I thought, the way, they, the way it makes it sound, like there's millions of games. It's not that many, but it is a whole bunch of games. And you can pretty much play a lot of these games, like these ones right here, the one that say coming soon. All these games, you don't even have to buy. As long as you have the Game Pass, the I think it's the Ultimate, one of the different ones you have to have. You can play these games day one or when they first come out. It's not like a trial or anything like that. They do have trials also, like on PlayStation, if you guys are familiar with that. They got game trials where you can play for a couple hours, you know, for free. Um, or actually include that. It's not really free. You paid for it. All right, so Starfield definitely comes out on the 6th. Um, Lies of P. Got Party Animals, a new one. Then there's Payday. I started playing Payday 2. Man, fantastic. All these games. Forza Motorsport, the new one. It's coming out in October. Definitely wanted to get that, give that a try. All right, then they got the Persona game coming out as well. Oh my freaking goodness. Take some of these little notifications off. A couple of these games I already bought on PlayStation already. All right, so we're gonna talk about the reason why I bought the Xbox Series S as opposed to the Xbox Series X. All right, now these systems been out for you know a number of years already, and they're already talking about making the next generations already. Right? So I don't want to make too much of an investment, but for the price point, they just came out with the Xbox Series S uh, one terabyte because previously it was five twelve gigabytes. I didn't do an unboxing video because I think those are kind of cheesy now. I stopped doing those a while ago, but. I think for that price, for two, I think it was like three forty nine or something like that. Actually, two ninety nine. I forgot how much I paid. Somewhere around that range. That price is good. This is like the best gener next generation system, and it's a good price, good value. All right. Now, when I bought my PlayStation, it was hard to get that. I think I paid almost damn near double just for that, and I got the disc version, and it was hard to get that, and it probably still is hard to get that. And that was over three years ago. All right. Now with this Xbox Series S. You don't have to have discs. Now, my problem with the disc, I like to own the discs just in case I want to. I don't like the game. I can sell it. Um, Anthem. <laughs> I did that game. It just happened to pop up on the screen as I was talking about that. I sold this game probably about two, three weeks after I bought it. I pre-ordered it. This is what made me stop pre-ordering games. This game right here. And that's another video we'll talk about at another time. But anyway, just having the cloud service makes it a much more value. I could have got the two, uh, the 512 version and I'd have been good to go, but I got the terabyte just to seal the deal, just in case. I do have some, long, I do want to have this game system for a longevity amount of time. All right, so I think that's why I bought that as opposed to the Series X. Now, of course, the Series X does have better performance, yada, 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 but it's not that much noticeable if you don't have that correct television um, or computer screen or whatever you play on your, play your system on. It's not really gonna make that much of a difference. But you can get these, I guess the Series S 512 gigabytes, you can get them really cheap nowadays because the price is gonna go down. And we do have the holiday season coming up pretty soon. So I guess there's gonna be different bundles and things that are like that are gonna be coming out also. All right, so this is the subscription that I have. I got the Game Pass Ultimate, which gives me everything. 200 games on Xbox and Windows, play Xbox Studio titles as Premiere, now include with EA Play membership at no extra cost or no additional cost, play games on your mobile phone and tablet from the cloud. And you do not, I don't have to have my Xbox on as opposed to the PlayStation to play the cloud. Uh, well, actually, no, the cloud, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really tried, but if there's some the games I wanna play on PlayStation, I have to have the, the, con, uh, the console on. Now I got the one, the 69.99. I think this is gonna be a good value for myself because I do play on PC and I do play on console and I do play on phone. So there we go, it's a no brainer right there. So I got that, but you can go as low as $9.99. You don't have to buy an Xbox or anything like that. And like I said, you can do so much on the app itself. You can check your Xbox status, help topics, get manager console. I think, I think you can turn it on. Well, these are the games I just recently put on. I deleted a bunch because I have the space. I was downloading like 12, 15 games just going ham. So I, just, I decided to go ahead and down, delete a couple of them so I can have some space. You can check your sizings of the games. These games are huge, man. I'm surprised Starfield's only 101 gigabytes as opposed to the Microsoft Simulator being 129 gigabytes. And then Forza 5, that game is fun as I don't know what, guys. Oh my God, off the rip. You just jump down and have some fun right there. 
all right but it is what it is guys i think the price point for me the 16.99 is a small price to pay for what you get honestly i wish it was a little bit cheaper but like i said it is cheaper compared to what you get you don't even have to buy the games that's what i like because the games are like 60 70 bucks all right and you just you you, you do the math guys honestly this is good i'm gonna say this is actually worth it <laughs> whether you get the 9.99 one the 16.99 whichever one you know fits your budget but all the games the value you get whatever i know sometimes they have these little deals where you can get it for a dollar for like three months or something like that that's a good good deal for the you know the first time i got that a couple times actually so i already knew all about the game pass when i was coming into it but yeah, I'm gonna sign up on it and I'm gonna say it's good to go. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you guys an Xbox fan? Are you guys a PlayStation fan? You guys gotta add me on, on Xbox at least. I gotta have some people to play with because I'm all about playing those multiplayer games. But either way, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel and we'll see you next time.